late December, as you can see by this dead use that uh, just debreasted. And um, what I'm going to do here in this here video is I'm going to take this thing out and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I've had it for about a year now and it's done good for me. I'm going to take it out and just show you some of the some of the very important aspects. And in, in if you're considering buying this engine or if you already have it, just some stuff that maybe you don't know, whatever have you. All right, the winterization on this thing is real simple. All you got to do is you just put it all the way down so that the water comes out. You don't got to worry about antifreeze or nothing like that. And every every three weeks or so, what you want to do is you want to just fire it up. You want to make sure you got your stabilizer and your fuel and all that stuff is correct. I mean, there's nothing to it. You really should go ahead and change out your lower oil unit just in case it's got any water in it somehow, which shouldn't happen with a 2018 engine of any sort. But who knows? I mean, that's definitely recommended as well. As far as changing, okay, what what will happen after the first 20 hours of break-in period, the remote will start beeping. It'll be every so often, it's, it's intermittent. And what you do there is you'll be out in the water more than likely when that thing, when you hit 20 hours, you're not, I mean, you might keep track, I don't know. But if you start hearing it beep, you gotta take it in for oil change. But how you stop that beeping when you're out in the water is pull the, uh, the emergency red thing out and then you got the stop button there. And I'll go ahead and I might go in, into this more once I'm out there on the water. I'm taking this thing out today. So, you know, it's been like three weeks since I put it up. So, you know, it would be about right for running it and what have you. So you pull that out and then once you pull that out, of course, the button goes all the way down. What you do is you just pull it out and put and let go of it three times and then it'll beep and then it'll stop doing that beep. But make sure you get that thing in there to the dealer for an oil change. Unless you want to take all this stuff on yourself, which I don't do and I don't recommend because it's brand new. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing on out there. And All right, when you do go ahead and fire this thing up every three weeks or so like you're supposed to, it has a, make sure that you take this take this off here. I got on there real tight. But you take this off and you hook a hose to it. And make sure the hose is running through it. And it's getting water to the engine because that's what cools it prior to starting it. Never, ever run this thing without some kind of, it either being in the water or it's hooked up to a hose. And if it's ever running and you do not see water coming out of it like it's peeing, then do not run it anymore under no circumstances, no matter what. And another thing real quick, you want to make sure that when you trailer or whatever, you follow this warning. It'll tell you what side to lift up and, you know, what have you. It's real simple. It says the other side up. I mean, you can do it from back here if you want. And you can also go ahead and do it right from here, which is pretty cool as well. You can just go ahead and finish lifting her up just like so. Very nice. And of course, you don't want to lift it up too high when you're trailering it. Just as high as, you know, as high as you need to do it to so it's not hitting the ground and what have you. But you do not want to store it like that during the winter. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and take this thing out now and do a proper review. Alright, as you can see by the last video, I'm in the water now. I'm out here in the middle. I trust this thing so much that I just pushed right out here and I'm going to go ahead and do the startup procedure. First, you go ahead and put her on down. Real simple. Turn the key a little bit. Once that turns off, turn on your depth finder and you just fire it up. And there she goes. She's been running for a little while now, a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and open her up.
exceptional job, maneuvers well, does everything you can want an engine to do, low maintenance, I mean it does it all. I mean all in all, it's the perfect outboard. It makes you know, working commercially with an outboard doable. It's the end of December and I got the engine to island right now and what I got is I got an inverter hooked up to the battery because of course it's a real nice deep cycle battery and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on this heater. Get a little bit of heat on because it's cold. It's got it hooked up to the battery, the inverter. And now I've got power. So that's another definite benefit. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.